Hello, Eddie. You look lovely. Those are lovely earrings. Hello, Adam. Um, have you sobered up enough to have a think about my sister having that half-term wedding date? Ah, <laughs> um, I'm afraid that weekend's fully booked. Oh. It's encouraging, isn't it, to size the congregation today? Yeah. It's amazing what the whiff of a good Ofsted report can do. Oh. That's what it is, of course it is. Ellie's turned the place around. The rumours are that the school is now good, with elements of outstanding. Let's not jump to conclusions, Stephen, until it's published. Well done, headmistress. Well, it's good news for you too, Vicar. I mean, these school whores will be queuing up to prove they're Christians, won't they? Just to get a place at Ellie's. The joy of selection. I've got a meeting for prospective parents on Friday. I like to do a raffle. They all try to outbid each other. It's a bit like the first day of the Christmas sales. <sighs> Who the hell are all these people today? Now, one second, Colin. I'm not sure that's the best way to fill a school place, is it, to the highest bidder? Why? What are your criteria? Well, it's a Church of England school, so they should be Christians, shouldn't they? Hello there, Vicar. Patrick Yam. Hello, lovely to meet you. Have you not met our wonderful local MP yet? This is Patrick. He closed my local swimming pool. Order service. I loved it. Yeah, a bit confused about when to sit down or stand or shout stuff out, but uh, yeah, we should we should do this again sometime. Thought Adam's sermon today ended rather abruptly. Mine next month. Thank you very much. Will be an examination of how the fourth commandment to thank you to observe the Sabbath has, in our age of foreign consumption, become in many ways the most radical. That sounds boring, Nigel. Wind the restoration fund.